Look, look, if this ain't the image of a power thruple, I don't know what to tell you. Dizzy was like, yo, yo, like, yo, y'all can't be doing that shit in public. Y'all can't be doing that shit in public. This is like, nah, y'all can't be doing that shit in public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can't be doing that shit in public, dog. Nah, I don't care what y'all do. And y'all, <laughs> Disney say, Disney say, we ain't gonna really support the don't say gay bill, but we really can't support the don't say they bill. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers. If you want to help out the channel, support me on Patreon at Crimson60620 and on Twitch at Crimson60. Thank you for your support and please enjoy the video. All right, so I will tell you guys this that I am a fucking MCU fan. I love Marvel's MCU, even though I hate the story direction of the story sometimes because it's not re reflective of the comic books like I'm used to it, but the comic books aren't reflective of what they used to. <laughs> sometimes there are other world stories, sometimes there are what else, but hey, fuck it. The Marvel movies, no matter if you say they're too formulaic, they wrote the formula. They are what Marvel is. And the whole joking and shit and making serious and making jokes, that's still literally what Marvel is. So I hate people that, like, not hate people, but I dislike the fact people that say, all oh, the Marvel films are formulaic and all this other good bullshit. Because, like, that's what they are. Like, they have multi-billion dollar movies versus DC's movies. And, like, it's stupid. But what's also stupid is when... You get people that don't know. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Vegeta? I will take that. I will take that. Um, but anyway, you get people that don't know the history of different characters. And so, outside the Multiverse of Madness, another movie that's coming up for Marvel is Love and Thunder. And we get to see Jane Foster fucking Natalie Portman, Will Munyer. And uh, it's going to be fucking a blast. And we're going to be able to see Gore the God Butcher. God, that's going to be, ah, uh, yeah, fuck. And this is going to be fun. But we have Clownfish TV showing why they are truly clowns. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Jane Foster from Fish okay. TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about how Jane Foster is the man now. Jane. Now, if you did not know the whole debate about Jane Foster being the Mighty Thor, you know, that debate that happened like five years ago, um, now it is triggering Neon. Wow. 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 Oh, okay. Jane Foster being the Mighty Thor is triggering Neon. Okay. Okay. Jane Foster is the Mighty Thor. Jane Foster is a more powerful Thor than Thor. We knew this was. No, no, that, that, the, oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh God. That, like, why would you say that? That's not what it, it was, you dumb fuck. The Mighty Thor is literally the name of. In, in the comic books like it, it's a it's a marketing it's a, it's a marketing it's a marketing thing it's a it's a, it's a mark oh god oh god he, he doesn't know he doesn't okay okay you know what what kills me is he's supposed to be a comic book artist he's supposed to know what the artists are he's supposed to know what this shit is but the first thing he goes in because she's named the mighty Thor. It's supposed to be, well, she's stronger than Odinson. Like, oh, okay, let's go. It's gonna happen. It's been confirmed now via some leaked action figures. 
that yes, Jane Foster does become Thor. We knew this because this is in the uh, comic books, but uh, she is being referred to as the mighty Thor and Thor is just Thor. No, he actually gives up the name Thor and becomes Odinson. Like seriously, he's just called Odinson because he feels he's does not entitled to the Thor because he feels he's not worthy of the hammer, which like, man, the, 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 the storyline, um, The storyline for what happened, oh, that was fucking awesome. How they treated Jay Foster, somebody who was dying of fucking cancer, as somebody who literally, literally took up the mantle and knew it was, um, it was killing her. So, nope, that wasn't it. Why does this do this? Sorry, guys. For some reason, my search engine is just shit. Now, here's what it is. Let's just look at it. This is just the fact of what they call Jane Foster's Thor. So, like, fuck, I don't get that. It, well, Regina, it's both. It, it is both. When she first picked up the hammer, she wasn't calling herself anything. But Odin's son actually called him, says, no, you deserve the title of Thor before he even knew it was Jane Foster. Literally. Then that's the thing. It actually happened in the panel. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can actually bring that uh, that panel up because it was actually a, a panel where she says, "Hey, my name is Thor." This was after he gave up the title to her because she was literally carrying the hammer. And I can't find it, but don't worry about it. Um, but let, let's go. Yeah, he's just he just Thor. Uh, also, King Valkyrie. Not Queen Valkyrie. King Valkyrie. Uh, we got some peaks. Did he not watch the last fucking Infinity War movie where he literally says, where she's like, you're going to be queen? He, he was like, no, I'm going to be king. Like, like, oh, my God. Like. Okay, okay. You can tell this motherfucker didn't watch the MCU because literally it was King Valkyrie. But let, let's go. It's at uh, Star Lord, Groot, and Gore, who looks like one of the uh, one of the aliens from Prometheus, right? So we're gonna talk. And, and again, all this bullshit he's talking about lets me know that he's never read the fucking com comic books. Um, let's see. Let's look at Gore, the God Butcher with the all black necro sword. This is how Gore looks. This is how Gore looks. This is how Gore looks in a fucking comic book. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, that's not even a comic book. This is Gore in the comic books. And if you guys can't see it, let's see if we can open up in another tab. Um, open image in a new tab. Um, this is Gore, and Gore has an issue with gods, and that's why he became the God Butcher. Oh my God! Oh, we may actually get Beta Ray Bill. Yes, yes, yes. But let, let's 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 go. I just shit is pissing me off. Okay. No, okay, so the way it happened was she was actually doing Thor shit. Thor is more than just, uh, is, is his name, of course, but it's also the title of the God of Thunder. And because she was doing God of Thunder shit, he was like, no, you deserve the title. 
because she was doing the shit that he felt he can't. And what was funny as fuck was we're doing the whole like uh, Fury self storyline when Nick Fury actually told you know Odin's son in his ear that made him not able to wield the hammer was Gore was right that gods don't deserve worship and she picked the shit up and she kept it going because you know you put your you put yourself online you put your life on the line to believe in shit yeah true true but like yeah it's marvel because comic books and mythology but let's go about this before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys over 262,000 subs thank you for the support we do talk a lot about pop culture we talk a lot about disney and marvel do i have to do a lot of this shit in order to get that like uh it just disgusts me that a lot of these motherfuckers just like completely shit on like progressive ideas to make sure like uh, okay let's go and marvel comics one thing we've been talking about a lot lately on the channel is replacement superheroes right uh there was this trend for a while and it's, it's still going on unfortunately with dc but at marvel they were replacing like every major avengers character every character they got a female replacement or they got a non-white replacement or a, a gay replacement <laughs> or something, anything other than <laughs> wait wait i'm sorry i'm sorry to laugh like that but it's a fucking crying shame they got a female replacement or a non-white replacement like Titles are fucking legacies. Like, I, 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 like, like, was this motherfucker mad? Where, like, he, I guess he still is mad that Wally West. Um, there are two Wally West, the white one and the black one. Like, like, fuck, like, um, uh, like, um, who, 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 who? How Jordan was replaced by fucking um Kyle Rayner. Like the fuck? Okay, okay. Like, there have been, like, six Captain Americas. Oh, but we get one that's black. Oh, that's too fucking far. No, that's too fucking far. Getting a black Captain America. America, a Captain America is going to be white. Like, the fuck? <laughs> She-Hawk. No, 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 no. Well, GD, you have it wrong because the Red Hawk was still Thunderbolt Ross. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. This shit is... This shit is unbelievable. And let's not talk about, you know, the the, the the one scourge across the land that was a replacement that actually became more popular than anything. Miles Morales. Let's not talk about that motherfucker because they still, they still pissed off about that one, boy. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. Having the Avengers be mostly made up of straight white dudes because that was problematic. It was problematic. And uh, Thor got caught up in that that uh, web back in, I think, I want to say it was like 2013, 2014, when Jane Foster became Thor, and now they're bringing Natalie Portman back to Thor. I personally thought she was terrible in the first two movies, but they're bringing her back, and now she's going to be mighty. Wait, 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 wait. Do they still have hate for this woman for, like, Star Wars, the prequels? Like, I think they still have hate for this woman. Like, like Natalie Portman has been in some decent movies. Like, I mean, I admit V for Vendetta was kind of fucked up because she was supposed to be playing somebody much younger. But still, still, still. But, like, she was, like, awesome. And, like, it was, it was kind of weird, like, in like, watching Leon Professional. She's a good actress. Like, like, why do they have so much hate for this woman? Like, they have a hate boner for... Hate boner? <laughs> like, I, 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 I guess Natalie Point is going to be their new uh, fucking uh, uh, Brie Larson, I guess. I guess. All right, let's go. Mighty Thor, not just Thor, but Mighty Thor. So we can get a look at the uh, the action figures here. Toys tend to spoil movies all the time, right? Wait, 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 wait. Now, mind you, I, I'm gonna go back here, but what you see right here in this corner where my mouse is, I'm sure you can see my mouse. What he's not gonna bring up, that's Rune King Thor, one of the most powerful versions of Thor there is. But I okay. Oh. All right, no sh shit. No, okay, let's go. Uh, when I was a kid, little little kid, but uh, right. Uh, or so we can get a look at the uh, the action figures here. Toys tend to spoil movies all the time, right? 
Um, remember they used to have embargoes. I remember uh, when I was a kid, little, little kid, but uh, Return of the Jedi, when it, it came out and the action figures came out, they wanted to surprise you with the Ewoks, even though I think they used them in marketing, but but on the, the card backs for Return of the Jedi action figures, they blurred the Ewoks out. So you couldn't, couldn't see them. You didn't know what they were. They were just these fuzzy black things that were going to be in the movie later that year. But they already spoiled it with the Emperor and Admiral Act. Wait, 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 wait. I won't leave that one alone, but the fuzzy little black things that were going to be in the movie. Like what? My testicles? Like the fuck? Okay, okay. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bar because those were mailaways. It was like, yeah, we know the Emperor is actually going to be in this movie. And also some weird-ass goldfish-looking dude. He's going to be in this movie. I don't know. And as a kid, I just bought whatever aliens they had out, you know, because they were cool. They were cool. They all played in the, uh, the sand pile the same. Anyway, uh, more Thor Love and Thunder promo art reveals Thor, Mighty Thor, gore and plot details. Of course, Jane Foster is the Mighty Thor. So let's, let's go down here first, and we'll look at her card back. A full version of Mighty Thor's promo art with a new character description. Jane Foster's life is forever changed when she mysteriously comes to possess the hammer Mjolnir and the power of the Mighty Thor. And she actually looked more Thor-like than Thor's looked in a long time. So there we go. We've got female Thor. I, I just, like, I mean, like, why is he upset if he's read the comics? He should know that all that hate that he has for Jane Foster, she dies in the end. Like, the fuck? She dies in the end. Oh, the, the reason why... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Fuck. Spoiler alert, if you haven't read, you know, a three-year-old comics, she dies in the end, fucker. Okay, let's go. Um, You know, somehow she gets the hammer back. It looks like they pieced it together. Anyway, who else do we got here? We've got Ravager Thor, so he what joins the, the Ravagers. Uh, new Ravager Thor promo art with a new character description. Thor wields the mighty Stormbreaker against a terrifying new foe, and that terrifying new foe would probably be Gore, which is Christian Bale. And people are like, this doesn't look like Gore at all. Uh, Gore the God Butcher. They're like, well, they probably didn't want to confuse him with Ebony Maw because he looks a lot lot like him. But, uh, you know, this is, that, this is that trend we talked about before with uh, Hollywood, with actors when they're in... Uh, you know, superhero movies, especially like we can't see them with the mask on, you know, we can't, if they're a CG character, we have to make sure the character looks like them. And you've got somebody like Christian Bale. He's not just going to voice a CGI character. Wait, but like, why? Like you literally, like we have, Vin, we have Vin Diesel to talk about. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. We have Brand, Bradley fucking Cooper being a talking raccoon. Like, why don't you think that, like, maybe you see this shit in a poor representation in an action figure. I mean, okay, okay, fuck. Oh, wow, it's not like it hasn't happened before. Hello, Danny DeVito in um, Batman 2, you know, Batman Returns. Anyway, let's go. Um, which would have been kind of cool if he looked like he did, if he looked like he did in the comics, right? That's actually pretty badass, but uh, no. He's just going to look like like one of the engineers from from Prometheus, uh, just some pasty ass white dude in a cloak. Of course, you know, Star Wars in the movie. And wait, else. wait, wait. What he just complaining about the fact that white dudes get put out of movies. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. OK, OK. Let's, let's, fuck. Fuck. This is stupid. He is bitching about literally a title to differentiate a one Thor from the next. OK, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what people are saying about it. Uh, this is coming from Chris Parker. Uh, he's the one who leaked the toys first, I think. This never released. Yeah, the Titan Heroes. Uh, uh, this is annoying. Why is Groot still a teenager? I'm tired of it. The gore design is lackluster. King Valkyrie, make it make sense. Easy. King is a title. Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. They did not watch the last of fucking... The, the, like, I guess after, like... You know, the, 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 the joygasm from the Avengers Assemble, they didn't watch the last part of um, Endgame because li Valkyrie literally says, how about King Vac Valkyrie? Like, oh my God, these motherfuckers, they act like they're some fucking comic book aficionado or some movie aficionado. Like, they are so fucking stupid. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. Okay, let's go. 
Yeah. Uh, Thor gave that title to Valkyrie at the end of Endgame. It fits so well. I'm in love with King Valkyrie. I'm getting all juicy. Drippy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> His examples are fucking proving him wrong. Okay, uh, let's go. Drippy, drippy. I don't know. <laughs> this movie, look. If you didn't like Rag... Tessa Thompson? I'm sorry. Te you... If you ain't drippy, drippy off of Tessa Thompson, I, I don't know what to tell you. Shit, she got two partners that are... Fuck. Like, y'all remember that whole... Taika Waititi and um, um, here, here. Let's let's do it. Let's see if I can pull it up. Um, what was it? Y'all, y'all, look, 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 if this ain't the image of a power thruple, I don't know what to tell you. Dizzy was like, yo, yo, like, yo, y'all can't be doing that shit in public. Y'all can't be doing that shit in public. Dizzy's like, nah, y'all can't be doing that shit in public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can't be doing that shit in public, dog. Nah, I don't care what y'all do. And y'all, <laughs> Disney say, Disney say, we ain't going to really support the don't say gay bill, but we really can't support the don't say they bill. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's go. Fuck. Let's go. Ragnarok. I have a feeling you're going to absolutely hate Love and Thunder. I thought Ragnarok was kind of funny, but then I thought about it. I'm like, do we really want Thor to be funny? You know, I mean, it was a, it was a huge tonal shift. But I think the reason they did that was because the second Thor movie was boring as hell. But this one, I guarantee Thor is boring. Thor by itself is boring. I'm sorry. Thor by itself is boring. <coughs> <coughs> He needs something to fuck about, fucking bounce off of. That's why people love Thor and Loki and all this other good shit. Thor by himself is boring. All right, let, let's go. He you is going to be jokey and slapstick, and we're throwing Star Lord into it, throwing Groot into it. So it's basically going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy movie with Thor, with Jane Foster, with Valkyrie, and uh, you know for some reason the MCU space is funny, outer space is funny. And wild and crazy and and uh you know they could have used a little bit of that in, in eternals right making space wait but the eternals were mostly like earth-based people because you know celestials like okay 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 wow wow fuck he is so fucking butthurt that he's no longer with disney anymore like okay okay let's go base funny uh, space was very, very serious, very somber, and very boring. But, uh, yeah, is there a build a figure? I don't think so. Oh, Cork. You build Cork. Why does Gore have a nose? They're afraid he's going to look like Voldemort. Um, no Beta Ray Bill, I'm out. Yeah, I heard he was supposed to be in this one. King Valkyrie. Yes, <coughs> King Valkyrie. Nathan here. Very juicy for King Valkyrie. I would aggressively bow down to that woman any day. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right. And if you really want to see a sexy version, a sexy, like, Tessa Thompson looking really sexy, watch Sorry to Bother You. Like, if you watch Sorry to Bother You, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I fucking love her in that movie. Um, especially when she does the British voice type bullshit. If you really want to see a movie with Tessa Thompson, it's just like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, she's showing those action tops, action acting chops. Watch Sorry to Bother You. But let's go. Title King. Wow. Star Lord, though. <laughs> uh, Gore looks like Zordon's brother. Ravager Thor. Yeah. Really? Is he just going to go down a list of Twitter replies? Like, oh, okay. I've, I've heard that, too. I've heard um, The Eternal should have been a series and not a movie. I've, that's You're not the first person I heard say that shit. And, um, yeah, like, it, it's like the... Um, the humans should have been a movie and the fucking, um, uh, Eternal should have been a series, but yeah, no, like I've heard that shit anyway. Um, yeah. So look, we know, we know that, uh, you know, this movie is going to be about Jane Foster, 
being the better Thor, I'm sure, because uh, Thor has you know become Fat Thor, Lazy Thor, uh, the Thor who almost killed, almost killed and failed uh, Thanos, and uh, he's loser Thor now. So wait, he went for the head. Like the fuck? Like do you think that this motherfucker feels emasculated in some kind of way? <laughs> we got to have Jane Foster come into the picture uh, to show him how it's done, right? Because that's how that's how it's going to work going forward. I'm not saying they can't make the movie interesting. It's going to be hard to make the movie interesting when Natalie Portman is is just not a very interesting actor, right? Or actress. I'm sorry, I didn't want to misgender her. Uh, actress. She's not a very interesting actress. And all right, I'm done. Like this shit is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, he is so fucking butthurt. I I just don't know. Like, wow, wow. Oh wow, I I I don't know. Like this shit is fucking crazy. Like I, how mad is he that? What what does he feel that she went and chopped off Thor's dick and is now riding around with it like a fucking like a fucking Saints Row Four bat? Like yeah, I got the hammer, so I got his dick. Like I'm pretty sure in the comic books. Jane Foster's has held Thor's dick many a times. I'm just like, <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh wow, this is fucking crazy. Um, I I wonder, I like, I I like, how do these people literally like? He is so butthurt. I'm sorry, he is butthurt, and I don't know what else to say, man. Like shit like this is fucking unbelievable, and I'm sorry to say, guys, it it is a pity to see so many people that identify with these characters that are so weak when it comes to feeling like, oh, they how could they replace the character? Motherfucker, fuck you, man. Like, it's comic books. Like, I, like, I, like, I, oh, fuck. These people, and he's an artist. He's a comic book artist. He's supposed to know this shit, but he doesn't because he's, he's a little bitch boy. And I'm sorry, guys, like, if you're a fan of people like that, like, how does it feel that you are intimidated by a fictional woman? Like, yo, yo, guy, yo, guy, yo, people are intimidated by fictional women. I don't know. Anyway, do all the like and scrap, all that other good bullshit for the YouTube algorithm and shit like that. I'm gonna cut this one here, and um, yeah, let's go. If I gave myself the power